I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest way to bounce a turtle shell to earn a ton of extra lives in Super Mario 3D World. The good news is it's early in the game in World 1-2, so you only need to have beaten World 1-1 to do it. Here we are in Koopa Troopa Cave, and I'm going to walk you through the right way to do this. We'll start by going down this warp tube. And the easiest way to do this is with a cat suit. You'll see why. Um, and if you don't have a cat suit, you should at least be big. You can do it if you're small, but big or cat suit is the way to go. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take care of this Goomba. No big deal, I don't really need the cat suit to do this. But this turtle, it's a huge advantage to have the cat suit because I can press Y to claw him and then press Y again to pick up the turtle shell. And I'm going to run down so that turtle doesn't follow me. I think this is the best spot. It's nice and tight. And you'll see I back up against the wall and then I'm going to press Y to release the shell and then A to jump. As soon as I'm doing this, I don't even need to touch the controls anymore. I can put the controller down and this is just happening all on its own. You'll see my lives are getting racked up. We're going towards 100. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it until we get to the 1000 mark. So here now we're at 200 lives, 300 lives, 400 lives, coming up on 500, and you'll see the numbers in the upper left are going to change into a different format once we get up to 1,000. If you're finding this video useful, please like it. It means a lot to me and helps other people find it. And let's go ahead and slow it down again so you can see, looking upper left, that first digit's going to turn into a crown at a, when it goes to 1,000, and then we're at 1,000, and then when it goes to 100, we'll get one more crown. You'll see in just a few seconds. There we are, and then the 10. The clock still has 250 seconds on it, and we've maxed out all of our lives. Here I've restarted the game to show you that that's not the only way to do it. Here I'm big with no cat suit, and I'm going to go ahead and do this. I found that breaking the blocks so that they're not in the way of the turtle is the easiest way to do it. So I'll bounce off him, then I'll press and hold Y to pick it up, jump, and go line myself up over here. So now I'm going to back against the blocks, face the wall, Release by pressing Y and then press A to jump and I'm going to start bouncing and earning 1-ups. 437, I've got 10 lives, I'm going to fast forward. Here's the problem. I'm at 800 and something lives, the clock is counting down to zero, and I run out of time and the game ends before I've earned the maximum number of lives. And that's why I don't like doing it this way. To max them out, I'm going to have to go back to the beginning and do it a second time. One of the biggest fails when you're trying to get the 1-ups is that you, when you're bouncing on a shell, you accidentally bounce on it a second time, and it sends the shell flying. And once you've done that, you're pretty much done. Here's a technique that makes that a whole lot easier. When you jump, if you hold X or Y, when you do your second bounce, it'll grab the shell. Now, I've heard a bunch of people say that you can't do this if you're small. You need to be at least big to do this 1-up trick. But if you come over here, this turtle's easier to grab, and I'll press the Y button while I'm in the air to grab that shell more easily. I'll work my way back over to the tighter spot that I did at the beginning of the tutorial to do the one-ups. And you'll see what I need to do is just make sure I jump really quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and line myself up, release the shell, and then jump immediately. And you'll see, I'm getting those one-ups. I got curious if using two players would cut the time in half for this one-up technique. So I lined up my characters, gave Luigi a start here, he's earning the one-ups, and then I get Mario going. And you'll see they're racking it up pretty fast, but I timed it and it's actually about the same amount of time as the other spot. And that's because the gap was a little bit narrower, and this is a little bit wider and slower. So I, I don't think it's worth the hassle of trying to get two characters to do this. But I wasn't ready to give up. I thought maybe there'd be a faster way. Maybe if I got both the characters into that tight, optimal spot, I could get them going. So here, Mario gets going on the one-ups, but when I try to release Luigi's shell, you'll see it starts bouncing in the back of the cave there, um, and it just doesn't work. So I got them as tight as I could and it didn't work, so I think the original spot with one player is the way to go. Now here's a quick blooper reel of some of the mistakes my family and I made while we were doing these recordings. And don't worry, no Koopa Troopas were hurt in the making of this video. Subscribe for more content like this on Super Mario 3D World and other games.